Today we're looking at a product in a category, I guess a subcategory, that I had never used before. Obviously I've used earbuds a billion times in my life, but I've never used earbuds meant to help you sleep. When Soundcore reached out to me about this product, I immediately thought this could be interesting because I am a terrible sleeper. I sleep very, very lightly. The tiniest noise in my house will wake me up, and because of that, My entire life, I have slept with either a fan running for background noise or most recently a little speaker that just plays white noise the entire night, blasting as loudly as it can on my bedside because, again, I need something to muffle any little noise. It's weird, isn't it, how constant noise is fine. It's like your brain tunes that out. But if it's silent and then you hear some little noise, I hear that and it wakes me up and it's super annoying. So I thought, maybe these earbuds are exactly what I need. So we are looking at the Soundcore Sleep A20s. The A10s have been out for a while. The A20s are just about to release. You can see here, this is their uh, page for them. Early birds save $60, but the regular price should be $149. I'm not sure if this is going to still be a thing by the time this video is released. This may be like a pre-order thing, Kickstarter, I'm not exactly sure. $149, though, is going to be the regular price. And yeah, guys, these are earbuds that you put in and then you go to sleep. They're meant to be quite comfortable. They're meant to play, rather than having a speaker next to you playing sounds that everyone has to hear, you have your own sounds right there in your ears for only you to hear. And of course, they're also plugging your ears to block out any random background noise as well. So like I said, Soundcore reached out couple of weeks back and asked if I wanted to check those things out. I've had them for a while, but before we get into the actual review, we need to unbox them and take a look at the hardware and go from there. All right, we have the Soundcore Sleep A20 Bluetooth earbuds. I like this box. It's got kind of like an embossed thing going on. It says to me, premium. Oh, actually, the earbuds even are like raised. I like it. I like it a lot. Soft twin seal ear tips, flexible air wing design, adaptive curved shape. That's got to be like so important, right? The comfort, fusion comfort they're calling. You're going to sleep with these things on. They've got to be really, really comfortable. On this other side, nothing going on over there. Okay. A noise blocking design, gentle material, peacefully stream content via Bluetooth, sleep monitoring, and personal alarm clock. That's kind of a cool idea, right? So you have an alarm set only you're going to hear it. And I'm really curious about the sleep tracking, sleep tracking in your ear. Does it have, I mean, obviously it could track movement, but like how else is it tracking things? Let's find out. Please ensure to wear your earbuds correctly, paying particular attention to the angle of the fit. And it shows here the little wing tip. You don't want it sticking up. You want it rocked back down around so that it's seated in there better. And you need to actually choose. There's different ear tips and wings to use. Here are the buds themselves. We'll set that aside for just the next moment or two. Let's get all the instructions and things out of the way. We probably have our wing tips and so forth in here. Oh, wow. There's a whole plethora of different things here. Look how big these are. Those are the biggest ear tips I've ever seen, but I guess that makes sense. And then the wing tips themselves have something on them too. Guys, this is kind of a lot, but I mean, again, you're sleeping with them, so I guess they would be. And this is not a particularly pocketable case either. Let me grab my Pixel Bud Pros out of my pocket, and you'll see the size difference there. These guys are pretty darn large, but again, you know, you're not, these are not like your earbud you're wearing around town. These are the ones you're sleeping in. So I guess that makes sense. Interesting mechanism there to open that up. Oh, just sent that piece of cardboard flying. Now let's take a look at these. Ooh, that's that's very soft. That's much softer than I expected it to be. And then you've got the wing tip there on top of the little, or I guess I should say the ear tip there on top of this little flappy guy that was part of the wing tip. So you can pull these off and replace them with a different size. This is very interesting. We need to remove this thing so that the earbuds can actually begin to charge. And that's how they rest in the case. I guess that's the only way they could rest in the case because of all of this stuff going on. And guys, we're gonna talk about this a bit more here in just a minute, but I actually paused for a moment and I popped this guy into my ear. And I have to tell you, that is shockingly comfortable. If you're thinking like I was, 
I can't really sleep with earbuds and that would be so uncomfortable and you're worried about how that's going to work. This is not the same thing as a normal set of earbuds. That is so pliable and comfortable. They are very, very uh, thin or narrow depending on how you want to look at it. They don't stick out of my ear very far at all. So I, I think I might actually be able to lay my head down on a pillow and sleep with these things in. So again, if you're like me and that was like a, a concern for you, I think we're going to be okay here. So we actually had to hop in the time machine and jump forward a few days to get a version of this application that was compatible with these earbuds. As I'm filming this, these are not actually released yet. So the app that was in the store did not know what to do with them. But I have now gotten the proper version of the app that does have the A20 there in them. So we're going to connect to them. And let's take a look at some of our options here because this stuff is really important to how these buds are going to function. So a couple of cool things here. You have bedtime and then an alarm. So there's a bedtime reminder. You get a notification on your phone saying, hey, go to bed. And then you can have an alarm. And the cool thing about this is this alarm is going to go off in your ears, right? You're not going to hear it if you don't have the earbuds on. So maybe you have a significant other that is next to you. The alarm is, uh, like I said, it's going to be personal to you. So you can turn that on in that uh, section there. Under playback settings, obviously there's going to be some sort of a sound if you want it to be playing while you're wearing these white noise or water running, whatever it might be. We're going to talk about that a little bit more later on. You can change this to all night or until I fall asleep and it says two hours. So it looks like this is just a timer perhaps that sets it to, you know, maybe two hours and then those sounds are going to stop playing personally. I think I would wake up instantaneously if that were to be the case. So I will probably leave it on all night. Smart switch, earbuds automatically enter sleep mode and switch streaming media to sleep sounds after you fall asleep. So Maybe you could have something that you're listening to. I'm not really sure why you'd be listening to streaming media while you're trying to fall asleep, but you have that as an option. Again, that probably would not work well for me. Let's jump over to sounds because there is quite a bit of uh, different options here. So there's rain, misty, railway, but you can also come over here to sounds and see a whole bunch of different options. Will these actually play on my phone? Probably just going to play through the earbuds so I will have no way to really show these to you. But you can see what they say here, different colored noises, which you would just have to listen to them to know what we're talking about. Seaside, ocean waves, lake shore, underwater, rain on a tent, shower, so many different options. I'm gonna have to go through these and try and find one that works the best for me. I will say that this first one, rain, that I listened to does have one sort of fatal flaw for me uh, that I actually found my first night trying to use these before the app was functional, before I could switch to different sounds. I took a couple of screenshots of a stopwatch to demonstrate this, strangely enough. So while I was using it, it seemed to me as though there was a scene, a moment where the sound would loop. It was fairly well disguised, but not well enough disguised for me. So I loaded up my stopwatch and I lay there with my eyes closed with my finger hovering over the lap button and I was pressing it each time I thought that loop, that seam was occurring. And if you look at this four times in a row, I guess three times in a row here, 39 seconds and some change, 39, 39. I mean, I was within a very, very, very tiny uh, frame of time. There is indeed a seam just before the 42nd mark. And that would kind of, I know it might sound crazy, some of you would probably never notice it. I did, it pulled me out of that experience. I felt that, that little seam hit, it felt unnatural and it was sort of distracting me. So I'm gonna have to go in and find some different ones and see if any of those lack a seam. I'm hoping that maybe white noise or some of these will just be uh, endless with no seam and maybe that would be better for me. So for now, the sleep data section is empty because I've not managed to actually sleep with these on. We'll talk about this a bit more later on in this review. Let's jump into our settings. So this is good that you actually can customize what your controls are. So double tap will do switch mode. And by switch mode, what we mean is we're switching from listening to audio, media, to going into sleep mode. So when you double tap that, it's just gonna start playing instantly your first sleep sound. And then by default, volume, volume, and then play, pause on the other side. 
Notice it's only double tap and triple tap though. That's interesting. Sound effects looks like that's going to be your equalizer. Perhaps you could get in there and customize that. There is Find My Device. There is a prompt tone as well that you can kind of customize when you're, as you can see, you're connecting and tapping. And then here under default mode, this is cool. So do you want it to be by default in Bluetooth mode or when it comes out of your case, go straight into that sleep mode. You can do that there. I do want to touch on just using these as earbuds for a second as well because that's not like what you're supposed to do with them necessarily, listening to media, but you can absolutely do it. So I want to kind of give a little bit of a criticism or sort of an analysis of these as regular earbuds. So first thing is when you put them in, you can't hear hardly anything around you. These things seal so thoroughly and that is very much intentional you can't hear anything around. So there's no ANC, there's no pass-through mode. You don't really need ANC though with these things in. It would be nice to have a pass-through mode if you intend to wear them and then talk to anyone. I have them in right now and I'm probably shouting because of that because they just seal so extremely well. In terms of actually listening to music, they're not actually too bad. If you think that these things are just going to be like, hey, they're only here for sleeping so that you know the audio quality music is not going to be very good, you might be surprised. They're better than I thought that they were going to be. They're a little bit light on bass, so I had to boost that a little bit. But honestly, these are not that bad. I've actually heard a lot worse. So in a pinch, you could absolutely use these things as just regular earbuds. Doubling back to the sleep sounds portion I showed you guys earlier, something I kind of want to let you know is that you're not just picking a single sound to be listening to through the night. You can do that. But you can also stack and layer up to three sounds. And you can actually adjust the volume of each one. I'll give you the example of the one I've been using that feels very much like home to me here in the southeast of the United States. What I'm using is a sound of a crackling fire with cicadas overlaid on top of that. And I've got the volume mix of it. It sounds quite natural to me. And I find those two sounds to not only be relaxing but they also do a pretty good job of masking where that seam is because unfortunately there are seams and so far all of the sounds I've tried, there is a seam somewhere. And if I'm listening to one sound, my, my brain finds that seam and it focuses on it. Every time that seam hits, it kind of startles me a little bit. I know that's probably weird, but when we're talking about multiple sounds, the seams may not line up in exactly the same place. And for whatever reason, I don't distinguish it nearly as well, and I find it to be much easier to listen to. So that is pretty cool. I love the fact that you're actually layering these sounds and kind of creating your own custom soundscape to sleep with. I also want to talk a little bit about that comfortability. So for me, the first couple of nights, there was definitely an adjustment to go through, right? So when I first put them in and I laid down, my immediate thought was, wow, this is definitely much more comfortable than using a regular set of earbuds was ever going to be. But I definitely was very much aware that those earbuds were in. And so as I laid there, and I, I am a side sleeper, and that's probably going to be uh, detrimental to me because, again, you're laying and you're, you're pressing those earbuds into your ear even further. So I found that after maybe a couple of hours laying on one side, you do start to get, or at least for me, a little bit of soreness there. I, I'm going to roll over and try the other side. If you sleep on your back, that's going to be a lot better. But if you're a side sleeper like me, the comfortability is much better than a regular set of earbuds but you still have earbuds in your ears, so you're going to have to weigh the pros and cons here, right? So the benefit of not really being distracted by the little sounds of your house, maybe you've got an older house like me that makes noises from time to time, maybe you have pets that walk around the house at night as well, whatever it might be, you're not going to hear those sounds anymore. You're going to have them drowned out by whatever relaxing sound that you have picked, and maybe that benefit outweighs the fact that you might toss and turn a bit more if you are a side sleeper like me. And speaking of tossing and turning, the sleep data section is actually pretty cool, right? So sleep tracking is one of those things that, you know, whether it's your watch or it's earbuds or it's a ring, they may all kind of disagree with each other a little bit. But comparing those earbuds to my Pixel Watch 2, they do seem to be broad strokes in somewhat agreement with one another. But a cool feature that I like is that it can detect when you are rolling over. And it's actually going to give you like a rate per hour, how often 
your tossing and turning as well as sleep stages. I'm imagining this is just based upon your movement, right? The deeper asleep you are, the less you're likely to be moving. So you can definitely use these things as a sleep tracker and it's going to keep your a calendar there for you to go back through and to be able to document how well you've been sleeping. One thing I do want to quickly touch on is an issue that I kind of have with this product category in general. It's one of these things that I hadn't thought about until I started using them. When you are laying in bed and you are ready to sleep, you pop these things in and you start to sleep. But if you're like me and there may be a partner in the bed there with you, putting these things in signifies a very hard break where if they think of something that they need to tell you before you've both fallen asleep, they kind of can't because you're not going to be able to hear them. When you put these things in, you are done. You are done talking. You are done doing whatever it might be. It is only time for sleep. And I'll just say for me, that does feel a little bit awkward because we are so prone to having little conversations as we do eventually drift off to sleep. And this pretty much cuts that off. Maybe if there is some sort of pass-through mode on them or something like that, that would be useful. But I don't know how many people that's going to be relevant to. Just something I thought I'd add. So all that being said, giving a verdict for something like this is going to be pretty difficult because it's going to vary so much from person to person. For me, being someone who is such a light sleeper, who is a side sleeper as well, I sort of already have my pattern in place. I've already got my solution for background noise already in place. And again, like I said, being a side sleeper, laying directly on these, they do start to get a little bit uncomfortable after a couple of hours, which does force me to toss and turn a little bit more. If you are a back sleeper though, and you're just now beginning to experiment with background noise and this sort of thing, and you want a sleep tracker, I think it's gonna make a lot of sense. Or if you travel a lot, that makes a ton of sense to me because rather than having to bring a speaker with you that has white noise or play something on your phone, that's gonna be a whole lot simpler to toss into a bag. And what they aim to do they do very well. You just have to make sure that you are the right person for them. Think that through first. How do you sleep naturally? That's going to play a big role in whether or not these are going to make sense for you. So I do want to say thanks to Soundcore for sending these Sleep A20s over for me to review. As with all of my reviews, no money exchange hands for the production of the review, and Soundcore is seeing this video at the exact same time as everyone else because no early copy was given. I will drop a link in the description down below. If it's an affiliate link, I'll put that next to the link so that you will know when you click it. If you make a purchase, I will earn commission. If it doesn't say that, Assume that that is not the case. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.